Hi everyone, welcome to Breaking It Down series number one, putting our signatures together. Here's the supply list and what you'll need. So let's go ahead and get right to it. I'm assuming that right now you have three 12 by 12 papers that you want to use as signatures. And I do apologize, my camera sometimes is just acting a little wonky right now. And so we're going to go ahead and take your three signature covers. Okay, they're just for your signatures. And we are gonna cut them down to eight and a half by 11 long. But what I like to do is I like to score mine first because I am half blind in one eye and i am just never been great at cutting. I'll go ahead and tell you. So I'm going to go ahead and take my score, uh, whatever you want to call this, and I'm going to take it and I'm going to score the eight and a half and I'm going to flip this over making sure that some some of my paper is a little longer on this side just a, a smidge but so I'm going to make sure that my left side is secure in here I'm going to go to the 11 and I'm going to score the 11 so go ahead and do that on all three paper 12 by 12 papers next we're going to pull out our cutter like so and we are going to flip it over to where the paper whatever is lighter that we can see that score line better and we're going to go ahead and just line it up with the edge of where we cut and we're just going to go ahead and cut it and then that way it's like almost you know mistake proof because I it, like you know I told you earlier have a little issue with cutting so now I'm going to have a perfect eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. All right. So the next thing we're going to cut is we are going to cut our paper that we need for the inside. And I went ahead and I cut mine. So let me grab one. We're going to do the same thing though. And we are going to cut these down to eight by 10 and a half long. Okay, so same thing. We're going to go ahead and take our scoreboard and we are going to put our paper in there and we are going to go to the eight. This would be my eight, eight and, and go down there, score it by, I said ten and a half, correct? Yep, ten and a half. And we're going to go to the ten and a half right here and score it. And then we're going to take it again and line it up. I put these in the directions you're going to need four of these pieces of paper okay that are cut that's going to go inside your signature that are going to be cut eight to ten and a half inches long okay so go ahead and do that and I'll be right back with you okay so now we should have our three signature covers cut we should have 12 because we four papers each and there's three signatures so three times four is 12 papers cut to go inside our signatures and then you should have if you've chosen to use uh, envelopes altered envelopes or bags or doilies or all of them because it is up to you and these are things that are going to go inside here because if you sew your journals to you know like i do um, the pages together then these would be sewn in. Um, so at this point, we're going to put our signatures together and then we're going to talk about the next step. All right, so go grab, go ahead and grab your first signature and make sure it's facing the right side up and open it up and go ahead and lay four pieces of paper in there how you want it. So like so, if I wanted to have my first papers in and then say I wanted a doily to be in the middle I would take it and fold it in the middle and then I would go ahead and put it here you can put it here you can put it there you can put it however you choose to put it because again I, I'm here to encourage you guys to know that this is your journal this is not about anybody else worrying about what anybody else likes or looks or this is about what you want in your journal 
okay? Now we are going to decorate it fully later on. We're going to be making ephemera together and all that good stuff, but today we're going to stay pretty basic and we're just only going to be adding either bags, envelopes, or doilies, or all three, okay? And so now I have one paper in there. I need four, two, three, and then say I want an envelope. There's two ways of doing the envelopes. I sealed this one shut, okay? And, well, there's a few ways of doing envelopes, and I do a lot of, I, I'm an envelope junkie. Um, so I would put this in here and then put my last piece of paper, right? And I sealed that envelope, remember? So what I did was I cut the ends off so that I can slide things in here like so. Tuck. Okay? So when we decorate, you'll see how I use that. And then that is one signature. Ta-da! You should be happy. You got one signature done. Yay! Okay. And then let's do the next one. Let's go ahead and put my four papers in here. Two, maybe throw my doily in here. Three and four. I should have another envelope here to show y'all what I like to do with the envelopes. Another thing I like to do with the and so say I didn't seal it now this time, like I did the last envelope. I take this one, I'll tuck it in like so. And then I will grab the signature I'm working on. That one, I was working on this one, sorry. Okay, here we go. And so now I want, you know what I'm going to do in the next one, because I'm going to show you all something else I'm going to do. I love this, and I'm going to use this as a signature, but I also love this. And this is going to, um, so remember I said I only wanted three? I wanted you guys to have three signatures. Well, I have four papers here that I have folded over for signatures. I know I want to use this. I know I want to use this. And I love this on this side. So I'm going to act as if this is a paper. Okay. So I'm going to take this back out, this one here, and I'm going to put it in front of this one and tuck it in here. So now I have what I consider five papers in here. Okay, and that's okay. You do not have to have them like perfectly even. So, but what I would do is I would put this one in the center since it has more and it's, you know, these two are even. So let's get back to showing you about the envelope. So here I have my last signature because now I'm down to three again. And I'm going to add one, two papers. And then I'm going to take this envelope that I folded, this one I folded this one in already, where I would normally flap it over. And then I'm going to take it and fold it like so. And I'm going to lay it here. And I'm going to put my last folded paper here. And when I say folded, I've already pre-folded these. Okay, I like the crease to be there in the middle. So now, when I use this, and it's all going to be sewn in together, now I have a tuck here. I could put tags here, I could put life cards here, several things, decorate the envelope. So that's why I like to give you guys different versions. I also have been known to um, glue or sew this down, right this here and this here, and have another tuck spot here. I mean, there's just so many things that you can do and get creative. And so if we're doing something and going along and you go, oh, but I wanted to use this instead, put it in there. That's what this is about. This is about you being inspired and getting creative. So now we have our three signatures. We are well on our way. A week from today, we will be um, making our cover with a cereal box. So I'm going to, at the end of this video, list the measurements that is required for the cereal box. And I do believe that it's like a family size um, 
like I have a family size Cheerio box and it was those measure measurements. So, but again, I'm going to put it in writing at the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this. As I said, we're going to take it really super slow for everybody that's beginning that's you know, time constraints, things like that. And we are well on our way. Congratulations. Thank you so much. If you like this video, share it and like it and subscribe. Have a good day.